Please, sir, I want to ask you, what was your reaction to everything that was said in court today by the Allahabad court? Well, the, the, the wisdom of the court is undoubtedly in the, in the favor of the, the people of India, I would say. We cannot doubt over it. What uh, is interesting in today's outcome is the court refusing the ASI to have any ground penetration. Any digging is not allowed. So this is the this is the core issue which I was pinpointing from the beginning that the moment you move into digging and ground penetration, a radar survey will be changing the character of the place, which will be violating the 1991 Places of Worship Act. So I think the the Masjid Committee also should look into it. Of course, they have went into into the Supreme Court, but this is a welcome step that. Now, I don't understand that if there is no ground penetration, if there is no digging, if there is no scientific this thing, then is the history not enough which tells us enormously about Aurangzeb's Farman that the, the part of the mandir was demolished to build the Gyanwapi Mosque. And historians have established this fact. The, uh, the uh, famous historian of ours, Irfan Habib Saab, and even the constitutionalist um, uh, Faisal Mustafa Saab both agree that there is no, you know, amount of uh, uh, doubt which, you know, is uh, there for the historical evidence to prove that the, the place was used up by Orange. Now, why are we wasting our resources, our time of the courts in this gimmickry and a shard played by the BJP when a straight path towards the Gyan Vapi is the repealing or amendment of the uh, 1991 Places of Worship Act. Hmm. That shows that the BJP wants to utilize this particular issue for their electioneering campaign and to consolidate the Hindutva element. Okay. Sir, let me now go over to the BJP representative with us on the show, Mr. Trivedi. Mr. Trivedi, what uh, Atiku Rahman said right now is a point that he's made before and a number of your opposition leaders have also made before. They've questioned the timing of this entire issue. Sir, a few days ago, the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh also made a statement. <coughs> and in his statement, it became very clear which side he was on. So, the opposition has said, why is the BJP politicizing this? Why is the chief minister talking about an issue that is sub judice? So, what's your response to just that question? Uh, first of all, BJP is not a party to the dispute and nobody who is part of BJP is a party to the dispute. It has nothing to do with the dispute at all. Okay. It was filed by uh, five ladies who wanted to have a perm They were already worshipping there. They wanted um, permission to worship on a daily basis. Now they went to the court. The court decided it is between the. There are two parties. One uh, Anjum uh, Islamia uh, Masjid uh, group and the one is the Hindu group. They are fighting about it. And the dispute is in, uh, in the court and uh, my Honorable Yogi Ji only said that this should be because this is this is a disputed area. If you call it disputed area, then the problem occurs. If, it, if they acknowledge the actual ground situation there, the kind of symbols which are there, which are integral to Hinduism, like the boar. The uh, Varaha avatar of, uh, who is the third avatar of Vishnu, has nothing to do with Islam. In fact, one of the most hated symbols of Islam. We have got a swastik there, we have got Om there, we have got Trishul there, we have got uh, Shiv and Parvati uh, statues there, which has nothing to do with Islam. So if he said that uh, in case the, uh, the offer comes from the Muslims, because this, is all, this has been the case even before. Like uh, the kind one of second. atrocity committed Sir, by the... Uh, Mr. Trivedi, one second, let's put out the statement that Yogi Dityanath said uh, a few days ago because the language of it is very clear. It's not in any way unbiased. His language is the Muslim side should admit their historic mistake. So that's a pretty pointed remark. It's, it's very hard to look at that and wonder which side the Chief Minister is on. We, we may not believe what the court is saying, we may not believe in what the Hindu side is saying, but at least the apostle of secularism, Aurangzeb himself has said it. He has said in Masiri Alamgiri that all the temples and schools of on, on the infidels should be destroyed and the religious practices should be crushed. 
and on the 2nd of september uh, 1669 the matter was reported back to his court that the sir, i'm sorry i'm unsure to, i'm unsure why you one uh, second why are you discussing what sir i'm discussing the political leanings or the political comments of someone who's currently in office why are you bringing up aurangzeb sir he he did not he did not say anything on the issue of uh, which is uh, sub judice what he said that it could be an arbitration proceeding it could be discussed it could be sorted out out of the court there's no no problem we can comment or we can discuss he even uh, he is an ordinary citizen of the country he can comment on uh, the proceedings uh, he's a free element sir all right he is a free element of yours okay i'm going to have to ask uh, atiku rahman ji please please uh, wait for each of our panelists to finish speaking i'm i'm not going to allow talking over over here